Many people make this mistake. They think that project life cycle and product life cycle are the same. No, project life cycle is different from product life cycle. Project life cycle describes the lifespan of a project. A project is a temporary work that creates a unique product, service, or result. Product life cycle describes the lifespan of a product that was created by a project. Any project life cycle can be mapped to the generic project life cycle, which is divided into four phases, starting the project, organizing and preparing, carrying out the work, and closing the project. A successful project life cycle ends with the creation of a unique deliverable such as a new product. The product life cycle begins with the introduction of the new product. The typical product life cycle for a product has four phases, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. For the details on project life cycle and product life cycle, you can click the links in the description below to watch the videos. A good understanding of the relationship and differences between project life cycle and product life cycle could help teams, project managers, scrum masters, product owners, and others to align project objectives with product and business objectives. So what are the relationships and differences between project life cycle and product life cycle? The project life cycle usually precedes the product life cycle. That is, a project is first undertaken to create or develop the product, and the project ends before the product life cycle can begin with the introduction of the product. For example, a project must first be undertaken to design and create a product such as a new car, smartphone, or software before the product can be introduced to the market. A phase of the product life cycle may contain many project life cycles. That is, during the product life cycle, more projects can be undertaken to enhance or create improved versions of the product. For example, factors such as increasing competition, changing market demand, or customer feedback in the growth phase could cause new projects to be undertaken to improve the functionality, quality, and user experience of a product such as a car, smartphone, or software. The phases of a project life cycle can occur in sequence or overlap. The phases of a product life cycle occur only in sequence and do not overlap. For example, in the project life cycle, as you are organizing and preparing the work, you can also be carrying out some project work. During its product life cycle, a product such as a specific car cannot be in two phases, such as maturity phase and decline phase at the same time. Product life cycle is usually longer than project life cycle. And while project life cycle has a definite end, product life cycle may not have a definite end or may be extended. For example, Coca-Cola has been in the market for over a hundred years. A product life cycle has a somewhat different focus from a project life cycle. The focus of the project life cycle is to manage the project to create a unique deliverable such as a product to achieve desired outcomes or objectives. The focus of a product life cycle is to manage a product and develop strategies to make the product to be successful in the market. Some indicators of product success could be increasing sales, profit and market share, increased customer satisfaction or prolonged life cycle. Thanks for watching. Please drop your comments and if you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified when we come up with new videos.